first thing that you want to do is do about 10 sketches with different compositions and then choose the best one to paint. You can either do this on paper, like I do, or do it digitally. I didn't follow this rule, so later you'll see me start adding more to make my composition look better. Once you have a good sketch that you would like to paint in your favorite digital program, start finding high quality reference images. They are great to help you choose color schemes and figure out the exact look that you are trying to achieve. Use Pexels, Morgfile, Unsplash, etc. These sites have great images that you can use but don't have to give credit to the original artist. Or you can. I used Ireland Coast to paint my image since it's exactly look that I wanted to portray. I'm using my custom brushes and I like to go from dark to midtone to highlights in that order. For me, I have a better control. I also place midtones and highlights on a separate layer. That way, if I don't like it, I can easily erase without damaging my original shape. As you can see here, I'm painting in my base shape in dark green. Once I'm satisfied with the shape, I will create another layer above as I said earlier and connect it to the original shape by holding Alt key and pressing right in between these two layers. This will lock the above layer to the one below and won't allow you to paint outside of your designated area. Don't fill in every single area with detail. Leave some areas empty like I did. This will indicate shadows and the eye can fill in the rest. After that, you can add subtle textures. The key to subtlety is to keep colors in the same value range.